The belief that the Earth is flat has been described as the ultimate conspiracy theory. Because it looks and feels flat when flat Earth believers walk around on the planet's surface, it must be so, despite all the evidence to the contrary. There's a sucker born every minute. We'll talk about that next on All Things Beer and Bacon. The Flat Earth Theory states that the Earth is a flat disk protected by an invisible barrier called the firmament, a dome-like feature that happens to be referenced in the Old Testament, so you know it's real. It's worth noting here that there's also something called an ice wall, which is a towering expanse of ice barriers at the edge of Antarctica that may or may not go on forever and that no human can possibly explore. For those of us on the outside of the conspiracy, the idea the Earth is flat is so ridiculous, the people who believe it are easy to make fun of. Okay, so there's already a shit ton of videos on YouTube that debunk this theory over and over with real life scientific evidence. Not that cereal box kind of science that the flat earthers use, so this won't be just another video pointing out why they're idiots. Instead, let's make fun of some of the people that still believe in this shit. And away we go. You know, uh, sometimes we need a little help. It'd be nice if we could just be brilliant, be geniuses, and just figure out everything all by ourselves, and we don't need any help. But the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, when it talks about day 2, 2, God created the firmament. You look it up in the Hebrew, and it says uh, arch, or dome, same thing. And then you start to look at the uh, the moon, and 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 you just look straight up at zenith, and you see that the moon, the light curves. Yeah, we live under a dome, and you know it. You know it. You know it. <laughs> and you'll be judged for what you know. There's no change in this guy's mind because he's just a different kind of smart. Even if he buried himself in the middle of the woods, stupid would find him. It would dig him up and tell him that he's wrong and to stop being so stupid. Then it would bring up politics, at which point you better have a laser pointer because nothing distracts stupid like a fast-moving tiny red dot. Here we are at the ends of the Earth, Antarctica. Of course, while the flatness of our planet may be awe-inspiring, it presents many dangers for the natural world. While these penguins may look cute, in truth, they are some of the bravest creatures on Earth. They live in constant danger of wandering off the edge of the planet. Here is a curious lad. What were to happen if I jumped off the side of the planet, he wonders to himself. He makes the leap to find out. Sadly, this young flightless bird is now destined to fall forever through the endless recesses of space. Wherever he is going, we cannot follow. Then there's J.P. Sears, a hippie with good intentions, but maybe a slice of bread short of a full loaf. His problem is a common one with flat earthers. Let's take a look. According to spherical trigonometry, the curve of the Earth is 8 inches squared per mile. So over the course of 3 miles, that's 3 squared, which equals 9, multiplied by 8 inches per mile, equals 72. Then 72 divided by 12 equals 6 feet. Then 6 feet minus the fact that the flag was 2 feet tall equals 4 feet. So four feet is how much lower the top of the flag should have been if the earth was round. I never should have been able to see it, but I could see it because the earth is flat. Does that make sense? A 
I thought I'd be able to erase it. The problem is he's not using the correct formula for calculating the curve of a sphere. 8 inches times the number of miles squared is close, but incorrect. The correct formula is this. This incorrect formula, as well as a whole host of other Flat Earth ideas, was taken from the 1865 book by Samuel Robotham, Zetetic, also known as a Flat Earther's Bible. In it, Robotham states very clearly he is aware of light refraction but ignores it, which makes his Bedford Light Experiment a complete sham. Never mind the fact that Robotham was a known charlatan that sold the secrets of prolonging human life and curing every disease imaginable. By the time his wife was 30, they had 14 kids, so he clearly needed the money. Oh yeah, and JP, just in case you were serious about the cardboard, here's your badge. Every year, hundreds of sea turtles are born here and venture off into the water, but only a small handful return as fully grown adults. The reason is clear. They are cosmic beings whose flippers double as wings to propel them off the edge of the Earth, soaring into the great unknown. Farewell, space turtles. Perhaps one day you'll come back and share your space wisdom with us. This next guy is a Flat Earth classic. Let's just dive in head first and you'll see what I mean. Hello everybody. I call this video the simplest, irrefutable, flat earth proof. And people who know me personally uh, know that I am not a fool. I am not a fool. I have a degree in math and I have a Juris Doctorate and I have been practicing law for almost 30 years. I just want people to realize that I'm not a fool. I just want people to realize that I'm not a fool. And you begin to go south. Now notice as I'm going south, I have to continue dipping the nose of my airplane in order to stay level with the ground. Now I'm going to continue all the way to Antarctica. Now notice I'm continuing to dip my nose down to stay level with the earth. Now I'm going down into South America, continuing to dip down, and finally I get down here to Antarctica. And look at that. My airplane is upside down. You're upside down. You cannot refute that. Your airplane is upside down and your head is facing down. It has to be true because you have had to adjust your nose by a full 180 degrees so that now you are absolutely upside down. That's the simplest irrefutable flat earth proof. There are many, many, many proofs that we do live on a flat earth. I urge you to begin to study it. Don't mock. I'm not a fool. Don't mock. I'm not a fool. Yes, you are. I don't even know where to begin with this guy. I think he's got a hole in his bag of marbles. Okay, that's enough, computer boy. Sit down. I got this. Ladies and gentlemen, Spank seems to have something to say. This guy's belt don't go through all the loops. He's got a bit too much yardage between his goalposts. If clues were shoes, he'd be barefooted. Clearly, he doesn't understand how gravity works. It works like this. Not like this. We all stay here, not because of gravity, but because the Earth and the Sun are constantly and ever moving upward, like a tower of terror that you can never get off. Dude, do you honestly believe your pizza-shaped planet is constantly flying upwards like a non-stop elevator, or that it sits on the back of some gigantic flying cosmic sea turtle named Steve? What happens if Steve wants to take a piss? Does he stop flying and whiz on some nearby galaxy? Does he stop flying when he sleeps? How does he wipe his ass? Where does he get his tacos? Does Steve even like tacos? Everybody likes tacos. But anyway, you, sir, are probably not that great a lawyer. You said you practiced law for almost 30 years, but you didn't say successfully. Being a lawyer doesn't mean you know anything about physics. Duh! 
I suggest you stick to chasing ambulances and let the adults worry about the shape of the planet. Back to you, computer boy. My good sir, far be it from me to let my common sense get in the way of your stupidity. I say keep it up. Damn the torpedoes and full speed ahead. But before life broadsides you upside the head, here's your badge. Even we of the species Homo sapiens never forget that this flat earth belongs to all of nature's creatures. From the tiny shrew to the colossal blue whale and to the mutant lizard people who live in the hollow tunnels millions of miles below the Earth's surface, developing technology for our Illuminati overlords. So whoever's in charge of the Flat Earth Movement, I'm not sure what convenience store dumpster you're getting your members from, but you really might want to change parking lots. If the guys we just looked at are any indication of your believers, then you guys are in for some serious trouble. If we missed anything, tell us in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Thanks for watching All Things Beer and Bacon. Okay, so here's one more proof that the Earth is, is flat, okay? So, according to many people, the Earth is round, right? So we know heat rises, okay? If the Earth was truly round and heat rises, the North Pole would not be cold, it would be warm. I mean, this is common sense, people. Okay, one more and I'm gonna let you go. I went to Canada a couple of years ago. If you look at the, at the map or a globe, Canada is straight up from Texas, okay? It did not take me any more fuel to go to Canada than it did to come back, even though I was going uphill the whole way to Canada and I was coming downhill all the way back. So come on, people, get a brain. See you next time.